Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic. Back to you again with another alien reading. So apparently, the Mexican government has confirmed alien DNA or non-human DNA, and they claim to have remains of an alien that they've showed pictures of. Apparently, it had eggs inside of it. All this crazy stuff. The person that found it is someone who's been a UFOologist for 50 years. Um, now, his track record is a little shaky. He's apparently got caught faking something before, but I think it was just one time out of many. So it's a 50-50 chance that this is real or not. Um, so the Mexican government is sending it off to the American government to see what they think so that they can get a second opinion on it. So I'm going to do a reading on this and kind of see what's happening. And we'll go from there. So remember, these readings all light different tapers only. Let's get started. Remember, if you guys like this, you can always join me to memberships. There's a $5, $10, and $15 tier. You can get exclusive pick a card, story times, and you can win readings from me. There's a link in the description if you're on mobile. Okay. <laughs> that looks like him. Taylor Swift, what are you doing here? Hermit, isolating, home, six of swords, travel, page of wands, speaking up. That's like someone dropping something off in someone's lap. Um, I don't think that these were found in Mexico. It would be like if I dropped it off in your lap. Ace of Swords, Moon Reversed, and King of Wands. The Moon is a revealing of a secret, revealing of a truth. Ace of Swords, King of Wands. Giving someone something. Six of Cups. Five of Wands. Page of Cups. This is like if if you had a deal with someone and they were they were able to Okay, let me explain to you what's what what I basically see. So, I definitely do not think that these are from Mexico. I could tell you that. It seems like this traveled somewhere. Second of all, I think whoever this UFOologist is, they have a pre-existing relationship with someone else and this is an IOU. Um so it's like dropping it off in your lap. You didn't get this from me. You don't hear this from me. Two of Cups, Knight of Wands, and Three of Swords verse. I also feel like... Predicting the worst before it happens. I also feel like... Okay, what I feel like is there's multiple aliens... And whatever this represents is not a malicious alien. So definitely seems like there's multiple species. This one represents one that is not malicious. That being said, I can't really tell if this is real or not. What I'm seeing is someone physically drop something off. So I can't really tell whether it's real or not. Even if it's fake, this represents something that's real. I can tell you that. Like... This weird looking thing is what something alien like looks like for sure. Um, 100%. Like something looks like this. It has to. Um, because if, if it's fake, it's modeled too well. Period. Um, Six of Pentacles, Devil, and the Ace of Wands. This is one of the ones that they're willing to show. There are much more intimidating ones. I, I remember in the Peru reading that I did, I'll put a link to it up here. If I haven't already, I probably already did. Um, but um, in the Peru reading, I, there was like claiming that they had like seven foot ones. And so that's what I'm seeing here. It's like, these are ones that are docile and dormant. These aren't the seven foot ones that are like attacking and stuff. Nine of Wands, King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. 
And I still see aliens need to collect and gather resources. I'm not going to go into that again. I have so many videos on that. Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Death card. I definitely think that they have multiple species that they have in like a chamber or like, you know, preserved or whatever, for sure. And I, I think this is one that they were just like, like I said before, if it's not real, then it's modeled after a real one. There's definitely a whistleblower here. So if this ends up not being real, then I, this has to be like modeled perfectly. Whoever made it knows what the real one looks like, period. Four Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Judgment card reversed. Yeah, it's a whistleblower. I think the government is losing the ability to keep their mouth shut. And I think that's what this represents. I think it's pretty simple here. Honestly, it's very simple to me. It's just like they really, they really can't pretend for much longer that aliens don't exist. And as I said before, I don't think all aliens are bad in fact i think most of them are not um and so i think um i think that they're i think whistleblowers are trying to force the hand of the government i think there's a lot of people against the government right now and so i see it as like we're gonna make them talk about this species do you know what i mean it's like this is the one i think the public will be able to handle this is the one we should talk about uh, Nine of Swords, Hangman Reverse, and Emperor Reverse. Yeah. It's like someone in charge being like, no, no, no. And then everyone that works for them being like, yes, we're going to find a way. Um... I will say this definitely could become a little bit of a panic or concern. So I do, I do think that you might be likely to see a denial, even if it wasn't, even, even if they could prove that it's real, you might see a denial because this is what I see. Okay. Here's the problem. The four of cups, the ten of swords reverse and the strength card. If your country is seen as being invaded by aliens or having aliens, I see all swords pointing at you. I'm a little bit concerned about international affairs and about governments and people pointing their swords um, at places that have the aliens or have seen the aliens. So it's a little difficult because this is something that I see is kind of inevitable. People are going to panic and be fear driven and they're going to want to like get rid of whatever is harboring this i don't know if that'll last very long yeah the tower no it wouldn't last very long because as soon as they started doing that if that's how things start to go it'll turn into complete disaster because everyone will turn on everyone with the information that they have and you'll see everyone expose everyone for the information they already knew about aliens and how they were there everyone has tea every country has tea on the other country about aliens already and so if they do stop, start like being like, oh, well, you know, maybe it's, you know, Peru's fault or Mexico's fault, whatever, the, everyone will start spilling their tea. So I do think there's a little bit of a threat, of, like a global threat at the beginning. Chariot, seven of wands. I'm telling you right now, though, like, I don't know, dude. I really think that even if this is fake, this is an, an exact, like, replica of something real because... Seven of Wands and Chariot here is like, it's like an underdog. I think this is like an old model. I think this is like prototype one. I think this is the equivalent of us as cavemen. Uh, excuse me, it's the truth. All alleged friend tubers only. I don't think they necessarily look like this anymore, but they used to. 
Two of Wands reverse, Sun reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. I think you know how certain species like dinosaurs and things like that died because of evolution and random stuff or, or like things change over time because of evolution. It's kind of what I'm seeing with aliens is like they evolve over time. World, six of wands and nine of pentacles. Yeah, it's like get an efficient prototype, something that looks more aesthetically pleasing. I will say there's definitely an alien species that looks similar to humans. Six of Wands, they've been able to perfect uh, their physical appearance, which means they have to be somewhat similar to humans. Because the way I'm seeing is it is myself looking in a mirror, feeling like I'm looking at myself, but it's different. And then I look to my left and I see someone who looks human, but they're not but they look human. So they've definitely, they def, there's definitely potential for at least one of them to look more human now. There is, there it is, someone looking in the mirror. It's like I'm psychic or something. This eight of wands, the five of swords of Earth, and the three of wands. I mean, the empress. Mm. I also think that they, I think that a lot of alien species um, weed out inefficiency very quickly. So think of it like birth defects, right? Birth defects don't really exist with aliens because once a birth defect happens, it's eliminated. They also don't have a semblance of the... F so Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles reverse, and Two of Pentacles. This is also not shocking to me. They don't have a semblance of family like we do. Um, we are so attached to our birth parents, our, you know, our immediate family, and we don't talk to anyone else, and we kind of isolate from everyone else. They're opposite. They don't have the same attachment to their birth parents as we do. They're a collective, Ten of Cups. They're a community. So they look at us as really strange and stupid and very, like, um, cavemen-like, like, or, um, like, primal. Because they're kind of like, why do you care? Like, you should care about the community as a whole. Why do you care about who birthed you? Like, there's a very strange... Yeah, I don't know how to describe that other than that. They're very much a collective. And it's not that they don't care and it's not that they don't have love. They really do have a lot of love, but they, I think they've just realized how important the love of your community and your environment is compared to the, to the love of just one individual. Because the page of pentacles is about, in, in the eight of cups, the three of pentacles, that's like putting someone on a, on a pedestal and having them fall off. And so the way I see this is like them being like, why do you put people on such high pedestals and put so much expectation when you could put all of that expectation on your community and your community could come together and do it together? Why do you put so much pressure on, you know, one person or one family member or whatever the case may be? Why do you put so much pressure? Why why don't you just individually or... um? Why don't you just sprinkle it around to everyone? Excuse me. There's like a camaraderie that they have with people who are the same species that we do not have. Ace of Cups. Oh my God, it started pouring. Ace of Cups reversed, King of Pentacles, and Ten of Wands. <coughs> I also feel like, um, yeah, I don't know. Ten of Wands, release of a bird and Ace of Cups. I think for them, they also feel like, I mean, they don't really particularly care for how greedy we are. I already talked about that. But I think for them, they feel like our prioritization when it comes to what we deem as love. Again, I just went over that. Is is kind of messed up. 
Um, I don't think that they're like the type to pair up. You know how some species pair up and some don't? They're not the type to pair up. It's not like lions and tigers or whatever, humans, where they just find one and pair up. They're not like that. I don't see them like that. It's a collective. They're like tribes, if anything. They just, they have a different, and I feel like it works. I don't know. I don't really feel, it doesn't feel, I feel like if you're watching this and you're stubborn, you won't get it. But if you let go of that initial emotional reaction, I think you'll realize why. I feel like if you're a very emotional, sensitive person, this is like horrible to you. But if you think in terms of bettering the happiness of everyone, it makes sense. Basically, think about how many people find their true love. We're all so worried about finding one partner that we stay with for the rest of our lives. How many people actually achieve that, right? Statistically, it's not very high. So much divorce, so much separation. It's not really high that people find their romantic partner for life, right? So for them, they see that as like statistically, it's not very likely. So why are you so obsessed with that? It's a distraction. If you sort of separated yourselves into groups, aka like tribes, and you supported each other, you wouldn't feel the need for that because your emotions would be fulfilled from everything else. It's a very interesting perspective. And I this is the first time I really feel like I've seen exactly what they've tried to get me to see, like my guides. I think this is the first time I've actually like really seen what they they're getting me to see. Um, it's interesting. So I'm going to leave it at that. Remember, if you like that, you can follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Amphrodite. Subscribe down below if you haven't. I do lives on all those platforms. Um, join the YouTube memberships. There's a link down below, and there's a link in the description if you're on mobile. There's a $5, $10, and $15 tier. You get exclusive pick a card, story times, and you can win readings from me. Um, yeah, sorry if this video is a little bit weird. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'm um, almost completely better now. Um, so yeah, until next time, bye guys.